My name is Mr. Fritz. We are here at Tuckahoe Middle School. This is our first block physical science collab class. And we are ready to go. We're going to be talking about our new topic today. So everyone should have a card in their hands right here with an eyewitness account of an event. Okay, we have not, uh, we don't know what this event is, but what we're going to do is in a minute, we're going to start the music, we're going to get up, we're going to move around, and we're going to find a partner, just like we always do. Put your hand up, high five the person. I want you to read your thing to them, and then I want them to read it to you, discuss real quick what you think the event is, and then I want you to go find yourself another partner. Okay, we're going to do this about five or so minutes, five or six minutes, whatever it is, takes until we figure it out. Please don't yell out what you think it is if you figure out what the event is, okay? So please keep it to yourself. You can kind of work back and forth, but don't whisper to people as we go around, okay? So, are we ready? All right, everybody go ahead up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. And let's go. Here we go. Brian, take your hood off from me, bud. Brian, take your hood off from me, bud. And then switch cards, too. Switch cards. Switch cards, and then you move on. All right, let's go. Get your hands up, find a new partner. Get your hands up to find a new partner. Here we go. Once you find them, let's roll. What? You just gotta ask what the answers are. Just figure it out, just keep going back and forth. I want you to figure out, try to guess what it is. Like, what is the event that's going on? What's happening? Okay, talk to each other. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll talk about it. Find a new partner. See if you can find another thing. Find a new thing. New hand, new person right there. Here we go. Got somebody new? Right here. Emma. Emma's right here. Emma, right here. Put your hand up so you can clap it up. Let's go. All right, let's move on. If we don't got it, let's move someone else. Let's go. Let's keep moving around. Come on, let's keep moving around. Hey, right there. Get one of them. Get one of them. Put your hands up so you can find the next person. Put your hands up so you can find the next person. Let's move around, folks. Move around. What's up? I don't have a card right now. She took all my cards. So read me your card and tell me what you think it is. Find them. Find them. Find them. Some of y'all groups move this way for me. Got about a minute left. Let's go. Keep rotating. Don't sit on my table. So don't jump Trying to sit on my table. Guys, let's start moving a little bit towards the front of the room because, like, I don't know why everyone, we have 32 people in the back half of the room. 
Got about 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Give me five plays. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and head back to our seats real quick. Let's talk about this for a second. Come on, let's go. Okay. Can anybody think, or what is this event that we might be talking about? Can someone, Rhonda? Uh, it's like, it's like, um, there was in a car, and then, like, water came in, and then it was starting to drown. Okay. So it's starting to drown. Okay. Something else? Like a hurricane or a tsunami. A hurricane or tsunami. Can anybody have something else? Like a flood. Like a flood? Yeah. Anybody have an idea? Anybody else? Okay. We're on the right track here. This is actually from a tsunami. This is actually the tsunami that happened back in 2004 uh, off the coast of Indonesia here. This is where the epicenter was. This event, what happened was it was about a 9 plus on the Richter scale, which is how we measure earthquakes. Uh, so it was a very, very violent earthquake. And what happened was this sent out uh, this tidal wave, so to speak, that went across, uh, almost across the entire world. This right here is a, is a picture. You can't really see it too well. If I flip this off, you can see how the wave rippled off from right there. And you see how this wave reaches all the way to Africa, okay, with the power of this wave, okay? Very, very important. So when we look at these, some of these, uh, when we look at some of the devastation that occurred, this was a large, large wave that came over top. Look how far inland this is. If you can see over here, this is where the ocean is, okay? And this is where all the flooding took place because a wave came across and crashed in there, okay? Something else like this. You see uh, total devastation here. You see this kind of stuff in movies, right, with the type of uh, 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 things that happen. So you see these waves that come crashing through <clears throat> for these towns, okay? And what happened was there was a, there was a tidal wave, okay, what we call a tsunami, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the Western Hemisphere there. We had this tsunami that happened, and what, what occurred was actually that we had um, uh, this earthquake that created this wave. Now, a wave, which is what we're going to be talking about as our topic uh, for the next unit, waves are ways in which uh, energy is carried, okay? So a wave carries energy, and the more energy it has, the bigger it's going to be. When we talk about a tsunami uh, that had an earthquake in the water, this energy from this earthquake, when the India plate and the Burma plate uh, <clears throat> subducted, they went over top of each other. Okay, you'll learn a lot more about that in earth science next year. When those things hit, what happens? They gave off a lot of energy. And waves are what carry that energy. Waves are like the Uber for energy, okay? You get in this Uber, right, and it takes you wherever you need to go, right? It carries this energy across. So that's what we're going to be talking about a lot with waves. And the more powerful they are, Okay? The more powerful they are, the more energy or, or the bigger they're going to be. As a tidal wave has a lot of energy, it's going to be a lot bigger. And we'll talk a lot about the different types of waves that we have because you're going to have things that are mechanical in nature. Okay? You're going to have things that are going to be a little bit more um, uh, with sound and light are also considered waves. So you have lots of different versions of waves that we're going to talk about. Okay? So what I want you to do is go ahead and place your cards in the middle so we can collect them. What we're going to do is we're actually going to have uh, our introductory vocab here that you'll see. This introductory vocab will be uh, for the 99 syllables. So what you're going to do, we've done this before, we're going to take the two words or the two syllables here. We're going to place them together to form words. We're going to place them together to form words on this sheet. At that point on the back, we'll list out these words, and then we will try to define them okay, using all of our resources that we can. All right? So, do we have any questions on how this is going to work? 
take like, each of these words is broken up in half. Okay, so it's not necessarily off the normal principles of syllables, but they're broken in half. So you have 20 words here that we're going to look at and try to make together. You can use your elbow partner to help you out, try to figure out some of these words, okay, as we work for the remainder of the block, the half day that we have here, which is not very long. Okay, any questions? All right, let's roll. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and cross them out. You will you use each one only once. You'll use each one only once. Okay. So at the top, we have the term waves, right? So that could be our theme. So think of words that can go with wave. partner if you have some questions. It did go with waves. Have you heard with waves before? And then we'll get into using our.
two. Do we have I two or is it two to nine? Where's the two? No, hold on. That's close, but that's not the right word. It goes with long. But you're on the right track. starting to get good at left handed writing now. Thanks for watching. Go, Go Patriots! Patriots!